station Mike and Ron on two. Node three camera is up and out the window. Looking forward to uh, catch a little sight of home. Okay, we copy and move with you. That the voice of NASA astronaut Mike Fossum, who grew up in McAllen, Texas, which is in the southern portion of the state. He also attended Texas A&M University, which is located in College Station, Texas. Mike is an avid outdoorsman and uh, very active in the Boy Scout uh, organization and has ex backpacked and hiked ex extensively throughout the state. He's been following along with the fire, uh, wildfire activity and, of course, uh, has some personal ties uh, to, the, uh, to the state and the current uh, status of those wildfires. An assessment uh, was completed uh, by the Texas Forest Service on the Bastrop County complex and reporting 785 homes have been reported destroyed and additional 238 have been reported lost on other fires in the past three days for a total of approximately 1,023. The last update from the Texas Forest Service reports that yesterday uh, the Forest Service responded to 19 new fires covering about uh, 1,490 acres, including new large fires in Red River and Russ counties. In the past seven days, the Texas Forest Service has responded to 172 fires, covering 135,000 acres. Joining us here at the Public Affairs Console in the Space Station Flight Control Room is NASA's Dr. Justin Wilkinson, the Principal Geoscientist here at the Johnson Space Center. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Dr. Wilkinson is part of the team that works on the crew Earth observations. Again, thank you for joining us, Dr. Wilkinson. Can you tell us a little bit about what we're seeing at this point? Sure. This is uh, quite interesting. In the foreground, you see the dark green area, and those are the uh, forested uh, mountains of the Sierra Madre, let's think, the western Sierra Madre. And then at the top of the picture, you see a lot of smoke. You see, uh, There's a loss of detail there bec because of the smoke in Texas, I believe. These inner valleys of uh, North Mexico uh, have got this bright uh, color to them, the, the, the desert flats in between the mountains. Again, this is a live view from the International Space Station. The complex uh, now making its way over northern Mexico, just, uh, just west of Chihuahua on a uh, northeasterly track that will take it over West Texas. I have completed my uh, two, uh, T2 exercise uh, for protocol. Thank you. Okay, we copy. Thank you for, le for letting us know. Top right in the picture is a big mass of smoke, not, a, not coming from one fire, but from several fires moving out over the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, you can see the Gulf of Mexico uh, top of the picture moving around to the right, and then the smoke is moving out into the Gulf of Mexico. In the foreground here in this picture, you can see a broad uh, semicircle. That's the, um, from the, uh, from the cupola, you can definitely that's the Edwards Plateau. And just north of the Edwards Plateau, burning across Texas here, and a kind of a haze across the whole area, spread into the uh, spread into the west. Right, Northwest. we can see it. That is really impressive. You can see the Bastrop fire just starting to move out of the lower right corner of the image. The other longer plume just above that is the uh, the Longview fire on the Texas border. You can see the Gulf of Mexico coastline and the Mississippi Delta top right. And Shannon, what is that big fire that's uh, west of Houston? Is that Bastrop still burning? I think that that fire the, with a long plume is the Longview fire. I know Bastrop is still burning. Oh my gosh, is that ever, that is, that is really sad. Yeah, better not plan on going camping there real soon. I was planning to go camping there in January, like every January with my Boy Scouts. Well, you'll have to see what it's like. 
we may be planting trees then instead. That would be a good thing to do. And we're already talking about it, actually. Sounds like a good plan. And Mike, just uh, for your information, I was just told that what you were looking at was the Longview uh, fire and not the Bastrop fire. Okay, copy that. Lived in that area for a short time too. There are a lot of fires. Uh, just coming up next to the Soyuz is a mass of smoke going out into the Gulf, and that fire is quite close to Houston. Houston Center is just uh, moving out of the picture slowly to the top right. You can see Galveston Bay in the center top. That, I believe, is the Longview fire, and that's the, uh, the valley bottom of the Red River that you see, that, with that lighter colored, colored line snaking through the picture. And we can readily see each one of those plumes is uh, fire smoke. Yeah, we're thinking that uh, we can see it, too. That's a good view out that window. Coming into the picture again are the, uh, the Red River, and uh, in the middle of the picture right about now is the, uh, the Longview fire with a big plume going out uh, towards the west. Gulf of Mexico, top left. And top right of the picture, a uh, bit hard to see, but there's a mass of smoke moving out into the Gulf there, that whole loss of detail that you see at the top there, that white mass is all smoke going out. Um, distinguishing... Shannon, this is amazing. We're flying uh, right over the top of Chicago at this time, and we're still looking back at the uh, plumes of smoke over Texas. That is amazing. At the top of the image right now is a small fire right at the top, a little white uh, streak. And then in the middle of the view, you see lots of cloud, and you can tell smoke from cloud because cloud is a little brighter and got sharper edges. This is Mission Control Houston. Again, the International Space Station now on a northeasterly track. Uh, the vehicle's just passed over uh, New England and now over Canada. Again, uh, just within the last 10 minutes or so, the vehicle was making its way over Texas and even uh, traveling past it, but still able to view back towards the state and with some of the wildfires in view. Again, uh, Johnson Space Center's Dr. Justin Wilkinson, the principal okay. geoscientist, joining, here, joining us here on console uh, with some information about the uh, the various views and uh, we thank him for that contribution we'll be returning with our international space station update tomorrow at 10 a.m central time this is mission control houston